right, guys. Looks like the RPM Ranger is Ziggy. Woo! What the fudge is that sure you can? <laughs> is Ziggy going to be the new Ryu? That's kind of scary. So Ziggy is coming to Power Rangers Legacy Wars. Congratulations. I think he was the most wanted anyways. No one cared for Scott. I mean, Dylan was a uh, maybe, but Ziggy was the man everyone knew and loved. So it's awesome seeing this, but now I got questions. Let's take a look at these moves here. A series of roundhouse kicks ending in a powerful finisher. Awesome. Wood split swing, an overhead swing of Ziggy's turbo sure to find its target. Okay, sounds cool. Ziggy calls upon his superior defense capability, interrupting it in a powerful uppercut if your opponent is foolish enough to strike. Okay, the good thing about this is it's a patched version of Ryu Shoryuken. As in, he needs to get hit for it to work like Demon's Bane. But for something that costs two, that's actually pretty damn good. That's a good shield. But again, we got another one of these characters. No, we didn't get another one of these characters. I was thinking of something else. But we have a shield and breaker again like Tommy. So this is like a Tommy build, but on an RPM Green Ranger. And Turbo Blast, Ziggy harnesses the power of his Turbo Axe to send damaged projectiles turtling towards his foes. Just like the show. So that is actually pretty cool. Let's take a look at his assist real quick. What's his assist? Turbo Twister, Ziggy spawns in with a multi-hit spinning axe attack. All right, cool. All right, back to this. So Ziggy is looking already pretty interesting. He's got a great function right now. He's got threes, twos, and just one five. And that five being his primaries. That's kind of interesting. I would have expected that five to be in the specials. But this is cool. Hang on a second. This is actually our first character that has a five in his um, primaries. Not counting Ryu's EX Shoryuken that goes up to six. This is actually our first Legacy Warrior character who has a plain five in his primaries. That's a breaker now. I'm getting confused with Xandra because Xandra was a shield. Ziggy's a breaker. Yeah, I got that. Okay, there's probably someone else. You guys will probably catch me on it. I don't care. All right, so talent-wise, let's take a look. What's he packing to? Four, eight, 10, 14, 18, 20, 24, 26. Not bad. 28. Damn, 32? 36. So let's see, he's got a 40% breaker. So he has 40% there on everything. He's got a 44% strike pool, everything else being 40%. That's actually pretty balanced for this character. And seeing how he's got this green fortress at two, that's an interesting shield cost. And it's not a spammable, spammable one either because it actually needs to get hit. So this is looking pretty interesting. I'm glad they kept the Shoryuken effect. So we got more of Ziggy to see probably tomorrow where they release his gameplay tomorrow morning. So we'll go over that then, guys. But until then, uh, we'll call it a quits for now. But let's just do his assist, see where his assist is at. I didn't do his HP pool. Don't worry about it. We just got to see what damage he's popping. 12, 14, 15, 20, 22, 4, 28, 30, 32, 36, 38, 42, I guess 46% breaker damage, yeah. 46 breaker with 42% damage normal. That's also good, especially for a balance assist, but keep in mind this is a 5, so that means that this does do a lot more damage than we're not seeing. So I'm really looking forward to Ziggy. He's looking awesome. He's looking fresh so far. We just have to see how the moves look, and by look I mean the speed of everything, and we'll go from there. Peace.